Who is it that's going online and plucking out my videos? Who is it that's telling iPage not to play my videos? How is it that I'm paying an internet company over $100 each year? It's only like 115, 120. And they're going online and all the videos that I upload are not being played. Pictures are being removed. Who would do that to the ministry of our Lord? Who would do that? Why would they do that? Is it MacArthur who's doing it? Is it the mayor and the governor doing it? Is it John MacArthur and his staff doing it? Is it the Master Seminary? Is it the Ku Klux Klan? Who is going online and removing these videos, these pictures, these word documents, articles after articles? Leave the work alone. Leave the work alone. There's no reason to be deleting any of it. How harmful is it to you? How harmful is this message to you? How is that me this message going to stop you from earning an income? Right? We don't want to pluck people out of this life, pluck people out of jobs, pluck people out of homes, right? Pluck people out of churches. How long have I been here trying to plant a church? How long have I been here trying to plant a church? Right? How many times have I tried to get a housing? Huh? How long have I been trying to plant a church? If I plant a church, how am I going to plant it? If not on the word of God, right? If I'm planting a church, if I'm planting a church, how am I going to plant it if not on the word of God, right? If not on the word of God. Why is it that MacArthur has plucked me out of Grace Community Church so that I have no church to fellowship with. Not only do I have no church to fellowship with, but now housing has been, re has been removed from me also. Right? Stop judging. Do you think that $1,000 a month is gonna get me into housing when they say, when housing department says you need two forms of income? These people, when they see me, they boast. They boast about you getting $1,000 from the American government, from Social Security Disability Income. But when I go put in an application for housing, what do they say? You need two forms of income. And then when I put in an application for a job, they hiss from what I was told, the employers, when they knew I was looking for a dishwashing position, they decided to remove two, three, four dollars until I make the decision to work for a company. Garnishing the wages before I even apply for the job. That doesn't make sense, American government. Again, that's another form of judgment. When I had the trailer in Portland, it was so that I had a roof over my head. But the sheriff's department removed it. In that same trailer, what was I doing? The work of the ministry. I was doing both in a trailer, my own property. What did MacArthur do? He removed it. Now, now where do I do the work of the ministry? In a tent. Now where do I lodge? In a tent. And even then, they're slashing. They brought the African-American community into it, slashing the tent. Going in and out of the storage, removing the information so that I'd have nothing as a foundation. Why am I being judged by the devil through you? Why am I being judged by the devil through you? If it's not you, then who? If it's not you, then who? How many times have I given you police report after police report and you just shrug and walk away? You need to submit. Submit to evil. Submit to Satan. Submit to the Klan. But the Klan is not the church. The black community is not the Lord's church. They don't have his Holy Spirit and his forgiveness unless they repent of their sins. Your thousand dollars is not enough for me to get housing. 
Your thousand dollars is not enough for me to even rent a room to have a church meeting. Your thousand dollars is half of what any man needs to live in a one bedroom. One bedrooms are fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars. You won't find a one bedroom less than that. Not even with a voucher. So why boast about a thousand dollars? Did you notice a milk carton? Did you notice a little box? I made the box myself. You won't find a box this size. I manicured it myself. God had asked me to do it. This is the church today in Kevin's life. This is housing today in Kevin's life. Not even John L. Scott was able to help. And as soon as I put my hands to the plow to get housing or to get what? A job or to do anything church-wise, you want to give it to that Haitian woman? She's not a born again. Why do you want to give my ministry, my labor, to some Haitian woman who likes to have sex with children? You know, I noticed there was a young man online, I'm not going to say his name, I don't want him part of my sermon, who was accused of child pornography. What about this Haitian woman who's been molesting me for 40 years, American government? 40 years this woman has been touching me, using me, raping me, and yet you have not put her in jail once. That is hypocritical. You want to you wanna comment on that? You want to put them in jail for nudie pictures of little children? What family gives their children over to nudity? What family? You should have put the father and the mother in jail for exposing their children's nudity. That makes no sense, right? What am I holding here? Doesn't John MacArthur have his own house in Santa Clarita? Doesn't he have an entire church property in Sun Valley? Who's raping him? Who's going into his database and removing information? Who's taking it from him? What was the point of Luther King's death? Did it accomplish anything? Did it accomplish anything? Has it changed anything? Has it changed the segregation that is still in the heart of you as a government and a people? Stop judging. Stop judging Africans as if we're the devil's people. Were we not created by God? Doesn't the scripture say that he made one from every nation of mankind to walk the face of the earth? Doesn't the scripture say that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God? Doesn't the scripture call all men to salvation and repentance? You hate us Haitians. You despise us Haitians. You look down on us Haitians. You call us devils. But yet, our hands are not as soaked in blood as your hands. How many Haitians are abroad in vessels killing? How many Haitians are on vessels? Killing nations, killing Iraqis, killing Iranians, killing Afghanistanians, shooting, looting, destroying, oppressing. Oh yes, we're not a beautiful people. We're not pretty, but we don't have your weapons of mass destruction. We don't have your weapons to stomp people out, to force people to submit to force people to yield, to beat people into subjection. You don't want to give me a house? You don't want to give me a, 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 a place where I could do my ministry? Fine. What is the profit of man to gain the whole world and forfeit his soul? You don't want to give it to me? You want to give it to your sons, your beautiful sons, your pink sons with pink cocks and pink asses? and beautiful blue eyes that are six feet tall and over? You want to give it to your graduates, your cum laude? It all belongs to them now. Nothing for the natives, nothing for the African, unless it's with their own. Fine. Preach the word in season and out of season. For housing, stop sinning. That's what God says, stop sinning, stop raping, stop judging. For the church, grace.
Repent. Right? Repent. Repent. If you have something to say, you could say it. You could address me as Kevin Duclaren. Right? Has Kevin vexed you this morning by telling you to stop sinning? Has Kevin vexed you this morning by telling you to stop judging? Has Kevin vexed you this morning? Because he's repeating the words of Messiah. Do not judge lest ye be judged. For in the measure that you use to judge others, it will be measured unto you. Hey, Chauvin, you kill again and you're going to prison. Stop judging people unto, de uh, unto death if it's not their time. Stop raping and molesting college students, children in the group home who are being pursued by your queen, pursued by parliament for subjection and submission. You fake churches and fake church leaders, repent of all your wicked leadership, reducing men, whether it be men of color or whether it be your own. What difference does it make? God even calls you, who present yourself as the church, to repent. Who stand with, the, with this pagan government, sinning. You understand what God is saying this morning? Stop judging, lest you be judged. Let me tell you something. How many years are people going to be in hell for? How many years? You, who are Multnomah County courthouse judges, when you say someone is going to prison for 50 years, 60 years, 70 years, 80 years, two lifetimes, six lifetimes, it's usually because of evil that they've committed.